Well, I want to be straight with people. It's actually a difficult decision to make, but in the end, we've seen two things really, which have caused concern. One is the positivity rate has uh, nearly doubled um, since the last review in Portugal. And the other is that there's a sort of Nepal mutation of the so-called Indian uh, variant, which has been detected. And we just don't know the potential for that to be a vaccine defeating mutation and simply don't want to take the risk as we come up to the 21st of June uh, and, uh, and, and the review of the uh, fourth stage of the unlock. What I want to do with today's difficult, but I, I hope decisive uh, action is make sure um, that we protect the future by not restarting problems uh, which may or may not be there at home, uh, we'll be able to get uh, international travel down the line opened more quickly. So it's a sort of safety first approach, which I see that Gatwick and others uh, have said uh, is an understandable approach, given where we are in the fourth stage of the unlock. The best thing we can do is get back to being able to travel internationally. And we are working, for example, with G7 partners, uh, the OECD and other international uh, bodies to get this going again. But the first thing to do is to protect the unlock domestically and not put that at danger, which potentially a, a vaccine defeating mutation could do. So it's a safety first measure. But the vast majority of people is, are not saying that they're going to travel at the moment and of course are keeping it open as to whether they travel this summer depends on, depending on what happens. So that, that's the majority of people. Um, uh, we've said with the amber and the red list, certainly red, you shouldn't be traveling there at all. That is really for people, British citizens effectively to return from those uh, countries. Uh, with amber lists, they're not there for holidays, they're there for a uh, emergency situations, perhaps a family member you need to go and visit. And if you do go there, you end up having to come back and a very, very strictly enforced quarantine uh, exists, which includes having to pay for numerous tests. Uh, it includes uh, potentially people coming around to your your, your home to check your you're there. Uh, and I don't think that's necessarily the kind of uh, relaxation people want. And many people can't take that kind of time off. So um, a bit of patience here. I appreciate this is a difficult decision. I understand that you know we are all um, desperate to see the world return to normal. That can only happen through the domestic unlock first. We all look towards the 21st of June to see uh, what can be done and the data. And we simply don't want to put that at risk through these figures, uh, as we say, as we say, as we've seen in Portugal, both the uh, doubling of the uh, positivity rate that we've seen, and also this mutation, uh, the so-called Nepal mutation on the uh, so-called Indian variant, which could then cause us problems down the line. So safety first to get our unlock done at home. We will always act the moment we have um, information which is relevant. Having said that, um, today's news has actually come as part of a regular three week review process. So it's not uh, as it was last year, every single week, these things changing. Uh, we would expect in the ordinary course of events uh, for there to be now a three week period, obviously subject to if something dramatic comes up, we would of course need to make changes uh, elsewhere. And we'll have to reserve the right to do that to protect the population at home. Look, 67 million people have, have been through a lot this last year and a half. Uh, a lot of people have come forward for their jabs in, in incredible numbers. No one wants their government to fail to take decisive action to protect that as we look towards this fourth unlock. Uh, and we wanna give ourselves the best possible chance when we get to that unlock and not have factors from outside for example, a potentially vaccine defeating mutation, preventing us from being able to give ourselves the best chance of unlocking domestically.